600 meters above Central Park, New York. Picture yourself as this bird, soaring through the sky, unaware that you're heading straight towards a nuclear bomb as powerful as the one dropped on Hiroshima. You and countless other living beings are on the brink of a fate you can't even fathom. In the blink of an eye, spectators witness the detonation, only to be engulfed in a blinding white brilliance, surpassing even the sun's radiance for a fleeting moment. A colossal fireball surges outward, obliterating nearly everything in its path upon contact. From its heart, a searing ring of thermal energy emanates, scorching all life and wreaking havoc on anything but the sturdiest of constructions. The fiery blast stretches out to about 200 meters, dwarfing the nearby buildings in size. It's hard to imagine anything surviving within its reach. When the pressure reaches 20 PSI above normal, the heavy blast damage rises as high as the Empire State Building, demolishing sturdy concrete structures or causing severe damage. The likelihood of fatalities skyrockets to nearly 100%. This level of destruction is often seen as the standard for heavy damage in urban areas. And that's just the start of it. The radiation spreads out to a distance of 1.2 kilometers, which is about 0.75 of a mile. If you were standing in Times Square, you'd be hit with a whopping 500 rem of ionizing radiation, a dose that's likely to be fatal within just one month. Even for the lucky 15% who survive, the risk of developing cancer from the exposure looms large. The American Museum of Natural History would face moderate blast damage. When the pressure reaches 5 PSI above normal, the majority of residential buildings crumble, causing injuries everywhere and widespread fatalities. The likelihood of fires igniting in both commercial and residential areas is significant and structures that sustain such damage are highly susceptible to the rapid spread of fire. This level of destruction is commonly cited as a benchmark for moderate damage in urban areas. From as far away as the Empire State Building, everyone faces a 100% chance of suffering third-degree burns. These burns reach deep into the layers of the skin, often without causing immediate pain as they destroy the nerves responsible for sensation. The aftermath could mean severe scarring, disabilities, or even the need for amputation. The certainty of third-degree burns is an undeniable reality for all in the vicinity. This final zone signifies light blast damage, occurring at approximately one PSI overpressure. Within this area, anyone present would witness glass windows shattering. This poses a significant risk of injury to those in the vicinity, especially those who approach windows after catching sight of the initial flash from a nuclear explosion, since light travels faster than the pressure wave. It's a commonly used measure for assessing light damage in urban areas. If you're enjoying this style of narration video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Tapey Studios for more informative content just like this.